All right, welcome everybody out tonight. We're talking about fungus. <laughs> <laughs> fungus and inflammation um, and natural solutions to, um, for everybody, and except for the fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> fun guy. <laughs> so here to present our topic is Jay Baldwin, and we have, um, it, you can read more about this on www.jaybalden slash inflammation. So it should have been www.jaybalden slash fun guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dave. So thank you everyone for coming tonight. Um, this is a really important topic, I feel. Um, if you get this down, most of our health problems go away. Um, so uh, about um, 10 years ago, I, <laughs> I was um, 28 and had four kids under four. Uh, so I wasn't crazy. I had twins. So they were all very close. <laughs> the twins are six minutes apart. <laughs> um, and of course, you, you imagine that I'd be exhausted and tired. But... Um, to exacerbate that we i had um a lot of health problems on top of that too and you know in fact it got to the point where i was hurting when i was walking and i uh, couldn't lift so i had to wait for my husband to come home and help me with the grocery shopping um, poor husband i know right so, so you had uh, asthma yes um... Yeah, allergies, anxiety, headaches. Back problems. Yeah, depression. Dry feet. Yeah, bone on bone on in certain two eyes, parts of my back. Yeah, yeah, eye problems. Yep. Sinus and mm -hmm. tissues everywhere. That's right. And um, <laughs> yeah, so pretty much a mess. And um, you know, I felt like there was there has to be a solution, and uh, the different um, medications that I was um, asked to take, it wasn't fixing the problem. It was actually just, um, you know, trying to manage the symptoms and masking the symptoms. So I had to do a lot of research um, and that was a lot of work, but it was worth it because what it came down to was um, fungus, just understanding that my body was riddled with fungus and it had too much toxin. Uh, we had people, um, I think, let's see, we had a lady here, yes. Yep, Kristen's still here. Yep, Kristen asked about allergies and that I had a lot of allergies. I had uh, over 30 allergies at the time. I was, it was just annoying because you had to kind of remember what you couldn't eat and what you couldn't uh, touch and things like that. It got to the point where I was allergic to trees and flowers and that was ridiculous. Um, so I had to find a way. Now, um, I researched and looked this up and they said that, uh, this, what is inflammation, right? Um, inflammation is a process by which the body, body's white blood cells um, and uh, the substances that they produce protect us from infection uh, from foreign organisms such as bacteria, fungus and viruses. Um, so it's saying that the body's fighting against some environmental threat, um, you know, something that's coming into your body that your body doesn't like. Okay, so that's what inflammation is. Um, so it's a staging an attack. But you know, in addition to that, people, some people believe that the body spontaneously creates inflammation to attack itself. Um, and I am going to say this clearly, I do not believe this. Okay, so I'm, I quote here that it says autoimmune disease, you know, in which the body, body's immune system attacks joint tissues, causing inflammation of the joint lining. Um, you know, what does that mean for you? Joint pain, stiffness, and sometimes even a, uh, a loss of normal movement. So basically it's saying your body attacks itself as if it spontaneously does that for no apparent reason. And I don't believe that that is, that is a complete explanation. And sometimes people take it as that, and they take the uh, philosophy, the well uh, philosophy that your body is broken, your body's sick, and um, you just have to deal with it and maintain it. Um, you know, and I don't, um, you know, I don't agree with that. I feel like the body is intelligent and it knows how to heal. But what you need to do is clean the cells and allow the body to do its job. 
give the body the uh, and the cells what it needs, the fuel, the building blocks, and it will do its job and it will tell you, it will show you. It will show you. So I'm living testament of that. And, you know, this, you know, today I want to share that with people because I want people to have the same blessing, the same healing and um, the life, the vitality that um, I have now. I feel like I'm younger than I was 10 years ago. Um, you know, back then I couldn't run, couldn't pick up my kids. Um, and now I could, you know, just do everything that I wanted to do and have a fantastic um, amount of energy to, you know, be happy and live your life to the fullest. Um, I've helped my parents and they're, you know, not on any medications and they get to travel and um, do philanthropical work for the Buddhist monastery that they're with. And I'm just so happy for them. And I want to share this information with everybody um, because, you know, it's not that, that difficult. All right. So we're, I'm going to pause here before I move on. Um, does anyone want to have, um, you know, ask questions or uh, make comments? May I just say amen? <laughs> yeah. The, the body is not meant to attack itself ever. Yeah. And I would never own an autoimmune disease. That's it. So don't ever own the diagnosis. Yeah. I see it as a nutritional deficiency and we can clean that body up and it will take care of itself beautifully. That's what it was designed to do. So amen to what's been said. Mm -hmm. And that strengthens your faith because you are created here um, not to suffer, um, but to find joy. That's our purpose here is to find joy. And if we're suffering, we need to find out what's causing that and, and just eliminate it. And we are allowed to eliminate it. And we should. Um, so let's talk about inflammation a little bit more. So why do we have inflammation? Um, one of the biggest problems is um, a fungus called uh, Candida, Candida albicans. And um, that fungus can be in your gut and it can, basically it's an overproduction, overgrowth of fat and it takes over your body. It leaves your gut, it has a tail and it just, just spreads all over your body. So you're ba basically hijacked by this candida um, fungus. And as it turns out, most of the population has this problem uh -huh. in some form or another. Yep. So I, have, I had so many people, you know, they said, no, no, I have this disease. And I said, no, no, I said, it's a fungus disease. It's candida. And they're like, no, no, Jay. And I'm like, you know what? This is the root of it. And I could see the rashes on your skin. I could see, you know, that you're, you're bloated. So anyways, it's all connected. All of the diseases that I had was all connected to this common cause. And, you know, find out um, and just see for yourself. Once you clear this, look at your body. One thing starts to heal, the next thing starts to heal, and everything gets healed all at once. Uh, so inflammation is your body staging an attack on something foreign, right? So if your body has a large amount of these toxins and debris, and you know the cells are not communicating properly because it doesn't, it can't absorb the nutrients because this this fungus is absorbing the nutrients that you're supposed to have for yourself. Um, then you know your body is not able to send proper signals, so it's sending um, unintended unintended signals to each other, and so really the internal communication is breaking down. Okay, so your body is breaking down not because it's you know, stupid. It's because there's just so much happening and um, it's, it's just been hijacked. Okay. And so it's as ineffective and losing battle for your body. Um, and that's why we have this uh, continual um, problem with uh, pains and aches and stuff in our body, um, which is caused by inflammation. So most people, if you think of inflammation, you think of, oh, that's, that's pain. Um, but you, your body body has pain to give you a clue that there's something not quite right okay you don't buy into it don't own it um and think oh it's because i'm getting old you know at 28 i can't be old you know that that was my problem i thought this this can't be right <laughs> something is wrong here um and this is why fungus leaves this toxin in your bloodstream that causes this chronic inflammation um you know, inflammation is not bad in and of itself. When you, know, you fall over, you have a large amount of blood flow to that area. So, you know, all of these happy, you know, white blood cells fix the, the problem and then it, it's done. It's done with its job. It's only when 
you've got chronic inflammation, so the inflammation all of the time that your body starts to break down um, its own tissues and other things because it's trying to find this fungus. And this fungus is a moving, changing target. So it hides and it disguises and it moves. And so your body's like, where are you? Where are you? And so this inflammation happening left and right. It's not, your body's trying to do a really good job. You, you know, it's smart, it's, it's doing something. Uh, but now you can encourage it to do it right and um, help it along by removing this fungus. So one of the byproducts of the fungus is called beta uh, alanine. Um, and this beta alanine lowers the amino acid. It's taurine that that amino acid um, is is what that amino acid is called. So taurine actually is an important um, part to help magnesium and potassium uh, to be delivered into your cells. So it's stopping your body from receiving nutrients. So remember I said these guys are hijacking your nutrients, things that are supposed to go to you. And so you're eating you're not being nourished. Like Debbie Gordon said, you, you have um, nutritional deficiency. Even though you're feeding yourself all of this food, it's not getting into you. It's, you know, take it, being taken away from you. All right? Um, and, you know, if we have, um, so if taurine is, impo is important to bind with toxins, so to remove them from your liver. So when taurine is not present, um, it causes... Uh, malfunction, which can lead to uh, fatty liver disease. Okay. And um, the other thing is the toxin that uh, fungus leaves behind is, is called, uh, I can't say it right, I tried and practiced all day long, it's um, acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and it's like, it's very similar to formaldehyde. But here on um, this website I looked up, it says it causes irritation to the mucous membrane. So hello, Jay, that's why you had asthma, right? <laughs> that's why you had allergies, right? And then here's large doses of that may cause um, death um, from a respiratory paralysis. And then it's more toxic than ethanol. Wow. Um, so it increases the risk of uh, developing corrosive. Cor uh, say it, Debbie. <laughs> Yeah, the liver and um, multiple forms of cancer and uh, alcoholism. So um, there's a book out there called um, Cancer is a Fungus. Okay. And um, it's written in French, I believe. <laughs> um, but anyways, the, the author says that it's, it's a fungus problem. If we can clean out the fungus, your cancer actually... Um, disappears, your body is able to heal itself because of um, you're cleaning out these bad guys and it can repair, it can do its job now. So it's not staging this losing battle anymore, okay? Jade, that acetaldehyde is an alcohol mm -hmm. and we can actually test positive on a breathalyzer test for alcohol if we've got this going on in our body. Wow. So it does bring on brain fog. It does bring on liver disease as if we were alcoholics. Mm -hmm. and so we may never have taken a drop of alcohol in our life and we can have the same liver damage as an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And so this is a big deal and we do need to guard ourselves. And I'm going to say one more thing too. Um, we can be eating a very clean diet and be completely full of candida because of stress levels. And so how we break down our body with stress is, is very, very damaging. And so this is a big deal. And I would venture to say, as you did, Jade, that it is the basis of most all, if not 100% of all autoimmune diseases. Candida is the culprit. Yeah, and people will say, hey, I've got autoimmune, as if that's the end, you know, like can't fix it, my body just has it. But I think, no, there's hope. Don't stop there. Don't, please. Um, so, you know, there's, there's so many toxins. And, of course, um, sugar. Sugar feeds it, feeds it and creates more. And, you know, just like Debbie said, it causes problems just like um, alcohol would cause in your body. So, remember, it's just your receptor sites on your cells um, being blocked. So, there's a lot of miscommunication between your cells because of all of these toxins and debris, okay? 
um, and among other medications such as the, the acid blocking medication, so we have um, the uh, antacids and things, right? It can cause um, our body to not absorb our you know, vitamins and minerals and folate and zinc, just so damaging. It decreases our digestive enzymes and the hydrochloric acid in our stomach. So it stops our body from absorbing and um, digesting properly. And so that causes more problems. It just spirals down. Um, so it uh, also affects the good bacteria, the levels of good bacteria in our body. So, and um, because we have uh, this refined carbohydrates, alcohol, uh, caffeine, sugar, parasites even, antibiotics and uh, immunosuppressive drugs, of course, xenoestrogens, all that plays a part in and, um, encouraging the candida to um, you know, grow more in our system. So it goes back down to candida, um, to give, get rid of it, okay? Uh, so here are the inflammatory diseases. So we treat these diseases as inflammatory, uh, as fungus uh, problems, then it'll be really helpful for us, okay? So cancer, number one. <laughs> Diabetes, allergies, asthma, all forms of arthritis. Um, you know, I hear people telling me special names all the time and I just tell them, ah, that's inflammation, that's arthritis. No, no, but it's lupus. And I said, but that's inflammation. Huh? You know, they don't know that what the root is of that fancy name. Um, so all forms of arthritis, just look it up, guys, and um, you can see celiac disease, um, titers, bowel problems, and so much more, okay? So if you um, look at your disease and find out the root, if it's an inflammatory disease, which I believe nearly all diseases are, <laughs> um, then you can just go back to the basics. Uh, so what do we do? So anybody have questions, any, any comments on, these are all, we're, we've talked about all the causes of inflammation and we're gonna switch gears and talk about how to reduce that. Anybody have any comments up to this point? And know someone who's suffering these things or I could just say that um I think the thing about it being like for old people it, that's like not true not only is Jade not old then but my daughter Jaden just now she just turned 16 and last year is when she started having problems with her joints and her muscles and stuff and um I had just started with doTERRA and so you know I was scared and then Jade was like, you know, no, 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 it can be fixed. I promise you it can be fixed. And, you know, seeing her at 15 not be able to get up in the morning because her hips wouldn't work and she couldn't go to school and, you know, she was missing school and nothing that the doctors, they were testing her for stuff, but nothing that they gave her or came up with, um, nothing took away the pain at all. We couldn't find anything to take away the pain. And so... Um, Jay told me a couple oils to use and that was the first time she got relief like in a long time and so um, and before that if we if we look at the symptoms um, it started like even a year before that um, she started having trouble like with her stomach and not digesting things right and that's what the last few notes were saying is how it can affect your body how she was so low in vitamin D she didn't have iron anymore because those things were happening and like it was just progressively getting worse and worse until her joints and everything just wouldn't work. But those other things that we thought were totally separate before was all part of that like candida just building in her. And um, like she would eat and then she would be in pain because whatever she ate, she couldn't digest things. And then they test her for celiacs and she didn't have that. And they, you know, we just weren't getting any answers, but it was progressively getting worse. So um, I was like so afraid for her and she, you know, was getting stressed out and didn't know what was wrong. But um, again, she was, she's only, she just turned 16, like, you know, a couple weeks ago. And so um, we've just been using the oils and she carries them around with her because, you know, again, it'll still flare up. It's not as bad as it was before. So, um, but it'll, it'll start to ache and stuff. And so she'll use the oils on her. She does it all the time um, at night when she goes to bed and in the morning. But um, she doesn't have to do it throughout the day like she used to. But it's also been like um, 
getting her to take some of the drink some of the oils and like the lemon and simple things that she can do like that and the vitamins and stuff to try to stop it you know inside of her gut and everything but um we're not like through and done with it she's still dealing with it but it is gonna as long as it took to build up it's gonna take some time to like fully clear her body and all but she's a lot better but it's still you know hard to like because it was just recent that you know it all happened but um we look at it now and now and I run across people I'm like oh no no you don't have to keep that you don't have to like do that there's another way to treat it that you know and they're kind of shocked and they don't know what to say and I kind of feel like they're like but no my doctor said and you know and I'm like well my, our doctor said but my daughter's walking now without you know going to physical therapy and without doing all this other stuff she did they told her she wouldn't walk without the physical therapy but you know what we had we went once and we were already using the oils and we, we didn't go back <laughs> you know she was just like well this hurts more this is just pushing my body to hurt more and the oils are just making it better anyway so why do I need to do this and I was like well I don't know they said to do it and she's like well they also said this and this and this and that's not true. So I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do the oils. And so, you know, I just let her take over and it's been getting better, but, um, yeah, it can happen to anybody at any age because of all the food and all the things that are in our, you know, culture and all, um, it builds up at a younger age now because of all that. And, and we weren't even bad eaters. You know, she, she's a pretty healthy eater as it was, but it was just those things that are in there or, getting out from other sources that, you know, led up to it. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, Debbie Gordon said that uh, she reminded us that stress, stress is one of the big things and your family went through a huge stress with her dad. Right. Um, right. Thought we're going to lose him. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, so that was huge stress for her way back, you know, a few years ago. And of course, when you're stressed, your body freezes and the energy is stuck. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't digest. And so it's really good ground for fungus to grow because nobody, nothing is stopping it here. Right. And, yeah. and the thing is too, um, I wasn't as bad as her, but I didn't really think of it, but I thought it was from dancing all the years that I danced and stuff. My joints had like my feet started to hurt to where when I got up in the morning and it was cold, like during the past winter, I didn't want to walk. Like it was just achy. So I just was like, well, you know what? I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on my feet and I'm just going to put it where it's at. And I had started to, you know, do some of the oils inside, like with digestion and, and drinking lemon and stuff too. So I feel like that would have continued to get worse, but now my feet don't ache, you know? So I just don't think I was at that level. And the stress for me was different than it was for her, but I could see that that was starting to form and, and cause problems in, in myself too. But since I, learned from helping her. I was also doing it to help myself, but, um, but it was really to where I didn't want to go places because my feet were hurting so bad. And, um, it just dawned on me, well, maybe I should be doing what she's doing. <laughs> That's right. I have a co couple of comments. Um, a beauty about this whole thing is that most, all of your kitchen oils, any of the spice oils that you would use in your kitchen, understand their nutrition for the body, and they all have a benefit for inflammation. They reduce inflammation and most all of them also have an antifungal benefit. And I find that just a really great testament that it's nutritionally based. And if we go back to the kitchen and change up what we're doing in the kitchen, it makes a difference in our overall well-being. And so remember that, all the spice oils, Everything that you would use in your cooking or your baking have an anti-inflammatory benefit and an antifungal benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's so liberating, isn't it, uh, Stacy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, there's some answers. And it, you know, you're right, sometimes you don't see it in yourself, but um, it's in a lot of us. Any sort of aches and pains, it's sort of, it should be a clue for you, right, to reduce stress, to clean out your cells, and to feed yourselves and it's funny how the doctor said hey she's deficient in this and she's deficient in that but hey guess what if we give her supplements if the fungus is still there what's gonna take over it's gonna keep taking it and, and you're thinking what well, I, I put stuff in <laughs> but it's not going where it should be going 
Uh, and, that, and that's just baffling for people. Uh, people saying, well, I play tennis and now, of course, my, my wrist hurts because I'm older now, I'm retired, my wrist hurts because I play tennis. And it's just like, no, don't give up. Feed yourselves. You know, if only it was that easy, Jade. And I think, yes, it is. Why would God make it difficult? <laughs> Try it. Are we... We were all so lucky. Like, um, I did ask the doctor, like, do you think I have arthritis? Because I, and she was like, no, there's no reason at this age that you would be feeling that way. It's got to be something else. She's like, I don't know what it is, but don't believe that it's that. And, um, but we were also lucky because Jaden's doctor, um, when we told him, you know, because he was really getting concerned, he would call us on the weekend. He would call us all the time and be like, how is she doing today? Did this help? I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm researching. And he called us into other doctors to get tested for different things because he was trying whatever he could. But when we told him about the oils, he was like, that is wonderful. I mean, how great is that? It's just natural. He's like, well, just throw the rest away. Just just do that because that's if that's what's working that's got to be better and so um he he called to check on her and he's like i haven't even seen her there's like no complaints like i don't have an email from you in a while like sometimes it was just so bad i would email him and he would respond and he said has she really just been getting better and better and i said yeah or we would still tell you you know and he's like i'm just gonna you know i'm honestly just gonna tell my patients like it may not be that medicine's the best thing like try this and he's like, you know, you have a website. I'll just tell them. There was this, there was this girl that was like up to five pillows a couple times a day, and it was going nowhere. And I was so concerned for her. And now I haven't heard from her because these oils that are just nothing but pure plants like helped her get better. And um, he's just like, I can't believe that she's just doing so much better. And he, you know, he worried about her stomach before that, but we had moved with that problem. We moved from Florida to Georgia with that problem. But um, he was just like, I, I, you know, I'm so glad that these things are doing that. And he's like, I really need to, you know, I just want to support you, but I, I'm going to pass that word along. So he wasn't like put off that we weren't going to do his thing. And he was just like, look, this is the answer. Who cares? This is the answer. And that is better than medicine. I can tell you right now, if I had something natural to put in me, that's what I'd be taking every day. So just keep on doing that. So we were lucky that, you know, he didn't, he didn't try to persuade us. He was just like, it's working. Okay. A hundred percent. Great. This is food. So just keep on doing it, you know? And, um, so he calls and checks, but, um, he's really like surprised and happy that, you know, she's found something and that it's natural. It's not like going to another extreme and, that's, you know, all the problems. You know, if you have a doctor like that, I would um, spread the word and say, go to the same doctor. Yeah. Know, Some yeah. people think that no doctors are like that, but there are mm -hmm. lots of doctors out there that are open to yeah. other things. It is so fantastic. So I, um, in Australia, my friend, she's a teacher. She teaches high school and uh, she had a student that had, she, we could tell that she had very bad candida and she was tired all the time and she was very anxious and everything kind of made her too anxious to even, um, she, it, she would just freeze. And um, so this friend of mine said, look, Jade, I really want to, want to help her because she can't do her homework. She can't study. She's just, she comes to school just sickly. And she said, I, I had to talk to the mom. So she said she did. And um, she called up the mom and then they had a meeting. She said, look, I have some oils. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but I want to share with you guys. And she gave the girl just lemon oil to start with because the parents are like, we went to all these doctors um, and she's on all these medications and we don't want to mess things up here. And she's like, ah, just try this, this lemon. And so she did and she was getting better and she was able to come to school and she was, uh, you know, improving and the parents could see it and she could see it and she was so happy. And then they went back to their doctor and saying, look, this is working great. And the doctor said, no, that's bad. So they stopped the lemon. And after a few months, she died. She actually died. And my friend went to her funeral, heartbroken, and she, you know, they told me about it. I thought, ah, oh, so angry <laughs> that because of his ignorance, right? Because he, he didn't open his eyes um, because of his pride. I don't know. But something so simple as lemon oil, come on. What is it doing? It's actually cleaning out her gut. Can you see that, right? How hard, how bad can it be, right? And so that just, I remember that story and I think, you know what, we just do our best to share and share and share and um, who knows, who knows. But obviously, look at the fruits. <laughs> look what it's doing. <laughs> and, 
Um, and when when she went to that, she went to this other place um, to help her, like control her thoughts and stuff like that. And she was like, "I just need to go here." We had to sign in whatever medication she would have, and we said, "Well, she doesn't have medicine, but she needs to carry this with her." And they said, "Well, what is it? What does she use it for?" And I said, "Well, she uses it for her emotions, but she uses it to help her joints and everything because." She won't be able to go to these counseling groups or whatever if she can't walk. So she needs this. And they were like, but is it medication? And I'm like, well, actually, no, it's not. And they're like, well, how does it work? So we told them. And then while she was there, they were like, I don't know how this works, but like she'll be in pain and then she'll put it on and she's fine. And like she'll be limping. And then she and I said, well, right here, she's stressed. And so it's making it worse. But if you can just give this to her, it, it'll subside because she's you know getting better while she's here. It'll subside. And they were like, um, can we can we find out what's in this? And I was like, well, it's on the bottle. Like, you just read it. I was like, you could just take it out of her bag, ask her to see it. And um, but they were just amazed, like how how they could see her change. And like they were just like, I can't believe that there's no medicine. There's like no nothing else in here but these plants. And we can literally see that she's limping and then she's just walking, you know. And I was like, yeah. Um, I said, well, our doctor tried medication, and this is what we came up with the better solution and they were just like amazed and so they were um asking questions about it but they were just like there's no denying because we can see we could physically see her and they were just like um, at first they weren't sure they had to like call her doctor and make sure that they had permission to like carry this on her and everything and i was like well it's not it's just would you let somebody put like lotion on it it's just it's not harmful you know and and so, um, but after they were just like, whatever that oil was, it was like so great for her. Like, I need to use that for me because I have pains or whatever. And uh, she let me try some of it and it really helped. So, yeah. That's awesome. You know, it's so interesting what's happening to our society. You know, we have to convince people that plant is good. It's just gone so backwards. We have, you know, <laughs> I went to a presentation today. The girl was talking about plant and you know, natural, cleaning the inside out. And I thought, yeah, yeah. And why do we have to convince everybody that that's how we need to be? Um, we've lost it. <laughs> so this is why it's so good to, to share this information. So going back to some of the things that we can do for information to reduce it. Okay, number one is diet. Okay, what you put into your body. So we want to get rid of pro-inflammatory foods. So pro-inflammatory foods, you've got sugars and all forms of refined sweeteners, um, corn, uh, grain and corn-fed beef and other um, meats. Um, refined and flour. Meats. Yep. And the dairy, of Wheat course. And, and um, refined flour, grains, um, and alcohol, and uh, just caffeine um, beverages. And, you know... Uh, because a lot of it will have xenoestrogens and other chemicals, and it's very pro-inflammatory. So the omega oils of um, these uh, commercial um, beef will be much, much higher than, say, grass-fed, okay? Um, so if we can reduce that as much as we can, that would be fantastic. So as we do that, we need to supplement our um, diet too. So we need to give our body the nutrients it needs. Um, so, you know, the Lifelong Vitality Pack is the, the best that I've ever seen um, to provide the, the supplementation for our bodies, so the uh, nutrients that we need, and also has very high levels of antioxidants. And, um, you know, not only does it have like, amazing nine essential oils in there, but one of, the, in, uh, one of the nine is clove oil, and clove oil it has the highest levels of antioxidants. And think of antioxidants as cleaners. They go in there in your cells, in your body, and start cleaning out very, very effectively um, all of the toxins that are in there. Um, and so even people taking the Lifelong Vitality Pack, they find that their body is detoxing um, and, uh, you know, they're pooping more and, you know, things are happening inside their body. Their body's able to absorb more. Because um, we're talking about two things. We're talking about fungus and toxins. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Okay, um, so that's one thing we can do. Okay, eating right and then supplementing, making sure that our cells are fed and has the building blocks it needs to, to be um, operating optimally. Okay, and um, here is uh, something fantastic. We call it the deep blue polyphenol complex. 
and it helps uh, with our muscles and our joints too. Um, this is an herbal complex. It doesn't have the essential oils in it. It's just, um, it's uh, the herbs. herbs yeah, yeah, just the, basically the herbs. herbs. It just has the same so you can marketing, the same branding as the So you can take oil, this um, every day as you start uh, cleaning out your cells and you find that you use, um, you might not need it later on. But it's for people that uh, suffer from a lot of uh, aches and pains and they need a lot of um, help and support right now. And this is really fantastic when they have internal pains, mm -hmm. um, you know, that don't have some other things are not working, they can try this and, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right, um, awesome, awesome. Um, ben? That deep blue polyphenol complex also has frankincense resin in it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so it doesn't have oil per se, but it does have the frankincense resin. So the boswellic acid. The great, as a great um, antioxidant, yeah. There's so much that we can say about each of these products. So I just want to glance through it. Thanks, Debbie, for reminding us of yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and number two is, of course, cleanse and restore your cells. Uh, we have a wonderful 30-day cleanse and restore program. Um, so think about every year that you've had um, this fungus problem. Um, you need a, at least two months to to work on this. So people get surprised. And they say, well, I did a cleanse. You know, how come I'm not well already? Mm -hmm. I said, just keep going because it's worth it. Mm -hmm. After a couple of years, your body and your cells, everything changes. You change the way you think, the way you are. And... Um, Things are better and it's permanently better. So if we continue on to just symptom management, just I don't want to feel uncomfortable and I have to go to the bathroom so many times, we're going to stay in that place and you'll experience Groundhog's Day over and over until, until you finally push through that barrier. And I think that the really important part of the Cleanse and Restore program in terms of the fungus is that GX, yeah, GX assist. assist. Um, that's going to be what's going to help cleanse that fungus out. And we have a, a kids nowadays that have, have these problems too. So you can have your own version of this. Uh, lots of doTERRA products um, have uh, like a, a ch children version. Even the GX Assist, you can actually make your own little roller bottles for the, your children and roll it on the bottom of their feet. Um, and it's, it's great for them. We have a 12 year old gut boy that has all of this rash up and down his back. And I, I tell the mom, you're gonna help him cleanse, really. Um, and I like Debbie's idea of yeah. putting it in your cooking, like when yeah. you make curry or yeah. you're throwing uh, cilantro in it, your salsa they get it or in. whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get it in your body. So yeah, all of those herbs are fantastic for the human body. Alrighty, so the emotional healing is very important. Um, if you are stressed, of course, the energy, um, it doesn't flow throughout your body properly. It remains in your head and your body below your head, things freeze. And sometimes you're not even in your head, you're out there. <laughs> and so you're in la-la land, and you're worried and you're distracted. Um, and so your energy is not there. So we need to just contain it and, and allow your whole body to heal. Uh, so emotional healing is one of the most important things because you can start cleansing and cleansing the candida out. But if you continue to have the same stinking thinking, you can uh, repeat yourself over and over and keeping having, uh, keep having to cleanse and, and work on that same problem. So uh, emotional healing, you can uh, you know, get these two books, uh, Feelings Buried Alive Never Die and You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. Has everybody seen those? You know, this, this is English version, but there's the, the Chinese people and other cultures, they've had these, this knowledge um, of the um, literal language of the body for years and years. And um, we've just ignored it. So it's not just a, a modern thing. Um, it's been around for a long time. Even in the scriptures, I talked to oils of the Bible last week, and there's just so many um, references to um, your physical manifestation of your emotional and some people think, oh, it's metaphorical, it's good, it helps us, you know, no, it's actually literal. The body actually manifests it. So if you think about it, um, you know, when you, I'll, I'll tell you more about it here. Uh, say fungus, if you look at fungus, okay, uh, fungus, uh, according to the Louise Hay book, it's, um, it's caused by stagnant beliefs. So stop there, stagnant beliefs. So what's happening? Your energy is stagnant. 
And when the energy is stagnant, your, your body's not pushing food through, um, poop is rotting in there, you see, and it's a wonderful breeding ground for more fungus, you see. So that's, you know, in, in your mind you're doing that, but then your physical body's doing that too. So it's very um, literal. Uh, refusing to release the past um, or, you know, for uh, some people that have had trauma, they're trying to wrap their head around that. that. Instead, I, I say move forward. Um, and if it comes up, you need to kind of think about it a little bit, but don't stop because you, can't, you don't know everything about that situation. Some people want to know everything about the situation before they move forward. Let me get it all. Um, but sometimes you, you understand things piecemeal. Um, I find that, you know, things that I've learned in college, and it just makes more sense more, the more I live, <laughs> the longer I apply things. And I think, oh, okay, it just keeps on giving. That's cool. Um, and that's how we should um, approach emotional concerns too. Sometimes we do have a problem, but keep moving. And then we'll, we understand more and more of it as we go along. So there's affirmations for it is, I live in the present moment. Uh, joyous and free okay so that's just a suggestion uh, from Louise Hay um, inflammation uh, and uh, uh, in that book too it says fear seeing red inflamed thinking uh, very similar to the fungus okay um, and affirmation is my thinking is peaceful calm and centered you see it's very um, calming and peaceful and you know it's just awesome to to see how um, it helps you relax and um, not be so stressed okay arthritis is um, feeling unloved criticism resentment and so affirmation could be I am loved I now choose to love and approve of myself I see others with love uh, in the feeling spirit and life book uh, arthritis is a severely criticizing self or others holding on to feelings of hostility you see a theme here it's holding on it's holding on it's allowing things to eat at you right um, and uh, you know needing to be right okay repressed anger okay not being flexible okay So when we can release all that stinking thinking, um, we actually will be able to help the energy flow. Uh, we do have that control. So choose it. Just choose to let go and your body will suddenly change. Um, it's, it's not that difficult. And just repeat to yourself because I think of a negative thought or emotion as a weed. And if you remove it, you have a void. And so you need to put something in that void and, um, and grow it, grow that. And that's what the affirmations are about. Otherwise the weed will just pop mm -hmm. back in. <laughs> something else, very similar, right? Because it's a habit. And uh, we talked about uh, Douglas fir uh, before, and it's, it's just people around us and society, that's how they, they um, respond to problems. And so we will naturally adopt that and respond the same way. Uh, if we're not careful. Okay, so we'll pause for a minute. Does anyone want to say anything and make comments? Yeah, so it's important to approach, um, you know, inflammation and fungus problem as um, an emotional problem too. Okay, so of course we said, uh, you know, treat it like a, a fungus problem, right? And now, or now we're looking at the emotion, you know, clear the emotion out. <clears throat> the good news is, number four here, is we can use essential oils. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can use essential oils to help us um, make changes in a more effective and, um, uh, I think, a faster way, I think. Uh, the oils are very intelligent. I can't stress it over and over again. But it's so intelligent, it is a life. And when you put oils in you, it will go to where it needs to go and it will help you the way it needs to help you. It's incredible. Um, but uh, that's true. And that's why we love the energy of essential oils. And this is why it's important for us to have certified pure therapeutic grade. Um, because we don't want it to, um, we, we will actually want the, the, the best uh, energy possible. Okay. So the DDR Prime is one of the oils that I really want people to um, make friends with. Um, 
emotionally, it's about change. It helps us change and make and transition. You see the, the emotions of um, arthritis or fungus, it's about being stagnant. Didier Prime is change, transition, move. Okay, so isn't that interesting that it also physically, it goes in there and moves the fungus out, moves all the other junk out. It's been tested um, and uh, it's found to be more effective than a lot of the, um, the prescribed inflammation and uh, inflammatory drugs out there. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> okay. I'm not to quote that. <laughs> yep. Dr. David Hill. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so it comes in a soft gel as well. Okay, so that's another way we can take it. Uh, if you are new and your body is still um, Looks like that. trying to you know, heal from these problems, I would take one to two, uh, two times a day, two liquid capsules uh, uh, to two times a day. Okay, very important. Okay, I love this oil it's very important for everybody to have this because you see how um, the fungus and the inflammation causes a lot of cellular damage and uh, ddr prime helps with that with the cellular repair all right so moving on to other essential oils you know it's truly a gift from uh, god to us so drink your citrus oils daily i mentioned the girl with just the lemon oil you know, put it in glass water bottle and sip it throughout the day. You can shake it up and change it out. Use wild orange um, and lime and grapefruit and tangerine. There are different options. Uh, one lady said she can't drink water because it doesn't taste good. Um, then add oils to it to make it taste good. Uh, and you get used to it. Sometimes people will say that I'm not thirsty. Uh, if you've been so dehydrated for so long, your body switches off that thirst mechanism. So just drink anyways, and your body will remember to be thirsty again. Okay, so that's important because most of your body is water. So if you can help things flush out, your body is able to get rid of toxins much faster. Okay, so some uh, suggestions of oils that you can massage on your joints, your muscles. Uh, to help with uh, the um, pain from the inflammation. Uh, we have wintergreen and you know, you, you know the uh, physical side of it. It helps um, bring that relief. So what I'm gonna do is just to tell you the emotion side, okay? So wintergreen is the oil of surrender and uh, an affirmation that you could say because any association, any um, emotional association you can add to uh, the oils as you use the oils will help your, um, your, your body heal faster. Okay, because you're, you're helping it along, you're not being passive, you're actually actively helping. So with wintergreen, you can say something like, I release the need to be in control, I surrender my will and rely on the divine power and intelligence. So that's wintergreen. As you use that, you can mix it and combine it too, if you like. Um, we have this blend, Deep Blue. It's a fantastic blend for many people. Um, it's the oil of surrendering pain. So I accept and surrender to painful experiences because I know they are somehow good for my higher good, okay? They're somehow for my higher good. Uh, with divine help, I am strong enough. Uh, we have people that are afraid of feeling pain, um, but pain is an important part of our human experience. So sometimes they stand here and wait until the pain goes away instead of like experiencing it and allowing it to flow through us. Um, so sometimes grief uh, is painful, but we have to grieve it out and it, it flows and it passes, but it needs to pass through um, because it's part of our human experience. Okay, uh, cypress oil is the oil of motion and flow. The affirmation associated with it could be something like, I flow and adapt to life's changes. I allow mistakes in my life to help me grow. I release the need to be perfect now. Okay, um, so that's cypress. You can rub cypress on 
um, and just see if that works for you, that's the oil that you need. If it's calling to you, that's the oil that you need. Okay, white fur is the oil of generational healing. Um, and you can say, I release others. I am confident in others' ability to carry their own issues. I am free and protected despite what is happening to other people. Okay. Douglas fir, the oil of generational wisdom. Um, you can say, I respect the wisdom of my heritage. However, I also feel free to break the chains of negative patterns passed down to me. Okay, so a few more oils here. Lemongrass, lemongrass is the oil of cleansing. I release toxic negative thoughts and feelings. I have clarity and no longer need to hold on to old material things. So that's hoarding, okay? Old thoughts, old feelings, and old memories. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> great. Peppermint, uh, the oil of a buoyant heart. We can say, I release any resistance to a happy heart. It's funny, but sometimes we feel like we don't deserve to be happy and we hold ourselves down and be unhappy because somehow somebody has told us life is hard and you feel bad being happy. <laughs> so anyways, peppermint, I am optimistic, renewed and positive. Okay, birch, is, it's not available all the time, but if you do go to convention, you can get birch um, and it's the oil of support and you can use that and say, I support myself and allow others, especially divine helpers, to support me. Sometimes we complain that um, our family members and our friends are not supporting us, but the most important person to support you is you. And if you're not supporting you, um, you, you know, it's very difficult for others to support you. Okay, so helichrysum is our last oil here to help us with um, our you know, aches and pains. Um, and you know, it's oil of pain. And you can say, I allow myself to fully heal from all pains, traumas, anguish, and of the past. You know, it's interesting because with Helichrysium, um, you know, with uh, everything in our life, sometimes we remember a pain and we, we think we healed from it, but we hold on to a little smidgen just to protect ourselves from that pain again. But now this here helps us to fully let all that go. And completely heal from it. So um, that's Helichrysium. And guys, just have a party with these oils and make your own blends and um, use it on your body. Put it in a lotion and massage it often. Um, and you know, when I first used the oils, um, I took the Lifelong Vitality Pack and I rubbed oils on. Um, you know, I did a lot of symptom management as I was healing and slowly as I became healthier and my cells were, were uh, fed more, um, I used these oils less. So I wanna hear from you guys. So what do you think? Just unmute all. Yep. Okay. I don't know, but I'm inviting everyone I know to watch the re-recording of this. <laughs> I think it's so powerful. So powerful. You, know, you don't uh, you realize that, you know, people come to you and say, hey, I've got this problem. I've got this health problem. And it's this solution every single time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're recommending the cleanse for everybody. Because the cleanse and restore, um, you know, it has the, the, um, what do you call it, the lifelong vitality pack in it and, you know, recommend that people don't take the inflammatory foods. And so that's a really good place to start. Mm -hmm. For some people, that's um, kind of a big step for them. So they just start with the lemon essential oil yeah. in their drinks. It's a really great first step down the path. Yeah, some of us have been doing it for a long time and to others, it's overwhelming what we do every day, how we eat. Yeah. So, Erin? So, we are doing the cleanse right now, and it's day nine, and I am already feeling a difference. I wasn't noticing it at first, and now I see I'm not craving sugar at all, Yay. at all. <laughs> and, you know, that's a huge thing for me. I said that's my only addiction in life, my one vice. I'm not going to give it up. 
and I actually ate so much sugar and I got like sick, like a migraine. And I was like, what is making me have such a migraine? And it was that stupid Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you and for that, sharing. And that's that can awesome. become a, a sometimes food. Yeah. Um, once you're cleansed out, those sometimes things are, are okay. Yeah. Yeah, your body won't ask for it as much. And you know when to stop too. But with people with candida, um, I, I've met a lady and she said she can eat a whole pan of brownies in one sitting because she just that's what her, her body's asking for. That's what the, the fungus was asking for. But after she right. cleansed, I mean, she had no desire for it anymore. It's like totally different. And I said, hey, no longer hijacked. <laughs> You're you now. <laughs> I agree. It's awesome. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? I can definitely say that you, uh, if you're dealing with the pain, at first you're, you are like using all these oils for pain and stuff like that, but you know you want to get to the root of it. So you're, you're also doing, like you said, a whole lot of it. But then little by little you're like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this less and less. And you're just doing like, you know, I don't think I ever drink water without something in it now. But, um, and it's true, like, uh, we didn't realize that we were not thirsty because we were just so used to it. But, um, but yeah, you start to use less and you start to know exactly which one you need. And so you don't have to really, because you could, they just feel different. Even though they smell similar, they work differently. And you'll, you'll tend to realize this one is the one and that, that's the one for that. And this is the one for this. But at first you're just like, you know, I'm in so much pain. I just want to use them all. And I smell like, a walking tree with some other stuff, you know, but, um, but you're just using everything cause you just want to get better. And, um, but then like, yeah, you start doing the vitamins and you feel so much better and you have, you know, you're not so foggy and you have more energy and stuff. So things just start to change. And as they change, you just like kind of come out like you now and you just use them after a while. You're not using all of them anymore. You're just using a couple, you know, maintaining it until really better. What I find is we just have to be patient with people that have had candida because you've told them how to use it and they come back and they ask the same questions again and it's because they have the brain fog so be forgiving <laughs> and understanding because we were there once upon a time. <laughs> I said, I'm like, I'm telling her that. I actually wrote it down. <laughs> That's okay. I just remind my friends that you know, it's all right, you, you, you'll get over it. And um, the beauty of what we're trying to do here is once people heal, their eyes are open and they can see their spiritual path and their spiritual purpose on earth and their life changes, you know. And it's not just they feel great. They really do add value to the human experience. So that's exciting. Uh, and people mm -hmm. want to do that and want to participate but uh, somehow something has taken over them and we, it's liberating for them. I want to make a comment on the cleanse and renew kit. And that kit has everything you need to do the cleanse and the terrorism is a critical factor in this candida experience in actually breaking down the food into micronutrients. And so when we're having gut issues, Usually you see that desire for antacids and, um, that does not do us any service whatsoever. And I highly recommend the Terrazyme product round the clock, year round, not just during the cleanse, but any pregnant woman that's taking antacids, beware, ladies and gentlemen, we're in big trouble. And so if we take the Terrazyme, the stomach will produce more acid if we're not breaking down the food that is in it. And the Terrazyme helps break down the food that is in it. And so it cuts back on that need for the body to produce more and more hydrochloric acid. The same, move this down, please, get it out of here. And so the terrazyme is a critical factor. And then of course that replenishing the bowel with antioxidants, or excuse me, with probiotics is really, really key. And so that cleanse and renew kit is one of the finest kits we have for overall general well-being. So when you buy it and you encourage your friends to buy it, uh, ask them to add an extra terrazyme to it uh, because the amount of terrazyme I encourage people to take, it's not enough for a month. Um, ben and I, we have to buy two 
um, at least. We also have an extra, so we, we, we do it about two and a half, maybe. Um, there is like a month. And um, so, yeah, here it is on the screen. So that's um, that. And also, it comes with the DDR Prime. I think I have the yeah. And there's there. a video. There yeah, there we are. There's the kit. Uh, DDR Prime is in there too. You've got your lemon oil for your water. Uh, guys, if you have never cleansed before, um, take it easy for the first couple of weeks, maybe just the lifelong vitality pack and lemon oil only. Okay, and then you can do the rest. Mm. Um, and, and maybe Terrazyme, okay? And so Terrazyme, lifelong vitality pack, and I mean, some people, they have this uh, amount of toxin coming out and it just, um, very uncomfortable. I've had a lady, she said she had a most miserable weekend and she said, I'm going to stop everything. I'm not going to do this anymore. Very uncomfortable, Jay. And I thought, what? <laughs> so take it easy. Your body will start to get rid of the, the toxins and then it'll um, be able to take on the other things too. Yep. And if you're finding like maybe you get up to the GX assist part and it's, it's uncomfortable, just scale it back a little bit yeah. um, until you but can. But still continue on. And um, yeah. Debbie Gordon said that the Zendocrine complex, yep, helps, helps alleviate that discomfort. And I go back to that regimen for the cleanse. The uh, calendar right there. There you go. Exactly right. So those Zendocrine products, and you need them both. Both the Zendocrine oil and the Zendocrine detoxification complex. Yep. That really opens up those organs of elimination, the liver, the kidneys, the colon, the lungs, the skin. And so we will see this candy to pour out of every single one of them. Open up the chimneys of elimination. And then when you take that GX assist, the, the candy to the toxins can get out and you can do a full cleanse. And I love your emphasis on for every year you have struggled with candida, two months on the cleanse, one month is not enough for somebody who's got autoimmune issues. Yeah. And you're taking that the whole time. Right? Yeah, and then forevermore, <laughs> really. Awesome. Thank you everyone for- The addition of that DDR Prime is phenomenal. As the, what did you call it? The oil of change? Yeah, transition. All the junk out. <laughs> yeah. Add it in there. It's a phenomenal piece. It's all right. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, any other uh, final comments before we end for this evening? Or this morning, if you're listening to this after the fact? <laughs> this afternoon, maybe? All know. right, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're gonna well, thank you, everybody, for, for coming and being a part of this. Um, th I think it is a really important topic. And, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do have a chance to go to that web page, so it's jadebalden.com slash inflammation, you can leave a comment there and you know, for others to, to benefit from. Yeah. Well, all right, we're going to say goodbye now. <laughs>